What is up killers, Kev here and today you're back with a brand new episode of 5 new console mods to hit the Bethesda.no website this week. This is going to be episode 437 within my series but without further ado guys, let's just jump straight into the video. Elizabeth, a standalone follower, coming in at an incredibly low 6.2 megabytes of a download. The description simply reads, one of the most beautiful followers that this mod author has ever made. That is very true. Facially, it is absolutely gorgeous, as you can tell on the screen. Now, no grey face for this particular one. should not have a grey face whatsoever, as this one is going to be a standalone using its own assets for this one too. Very easy to find this particular follower. It's going to be in the Wind Peaks Inn in Dawnstar. Easy to pick up. All you need to do is head over there and talk to her, and she shall follow you. If she doesn't come with any gear, unfortunately, you're going to pick that up entirely yourself. But you can pretty much get loads of other different mods out there to pair it however you do see fit. I'm pretty sure she'll take any particular modded set of armor. I know for a fact she takes any vanilla set of armor. So you guys can pretty much pick and choose what you want for her to actually wear. Body type for this one is going to be a UUNP on this particular one. Skills on this one, she can be summoned anywhere by a new power. Check your powers after that to enter the game. She should heal within battle her own HP whenever it is low. She's going to do that automatically. Again, you can see that within the video clip. Quite an overpowered follower. She was actually quite viable and strong within combat. Usually when you get these particular followers, they usually get slammed straight down to the floor. But this one is incredibly sufficient and powerful scroll damage increase this one is going to be coming in at 1.1 kilobytes of a download increases the damage of scrolls to absolutely beautiful levels for this one it includes magic scrolls and magic with this particular one damage increased by scrolls is going to be tripled the effect also applies within the scrolls that you already have so if you do go out and pick some more up again it's going to be triple damage and the ones you currently have on your infantry are going to be triple damage as well this is absolutely beautiful my demonstration of this one wasn't really that viable with this particular clip uh, i was summoning the uh, scroll spiders again they did actually do quite a bit of damage in comparison to what they would do in vanilla i don't really use these sort of spiders in the vanilla base game as they are a little bit pants but with this particular mod kicking out and pumping out that triple damage it's definitely worth picking up scrolls via the game guys glass dagger reskin this one is coming in at 51.8 kilobytes of a download this is going to be imperial agents 1992 first dagger retexture mod to be hitting the bethesda on a website this is going to be pretty interesting indeed i do kind of like some of the textures and i don't like some of the textures on this particular one very weird indeed you can actually craft all of these at any given forge but if you do not have the requirements to make these beautiful yet elegant blades you can head over to riverwood and find the chest that just outside of the first gate as you originally would enter Riverwood so as soon as you come at Helgen that gate is going to be located right next to a tree stump there's going to be a small chest in there with 10 of these four new daggers to be added to the game the daggers are as followed the forest man blade which is going to be a green mossy blade for the reskin of the glass one the divine blade which is going to be a nice pearly white dagger of corruption which is going to look extremely dark menacing and evil and the huntsman blade which is personally going to look a little bit like what a sort of a realistic rusty blade would normally look like my one is obviously going to be the favorite on screen now i really do like it the texture is absolutely awesome i love the little white neon running through the blade itself Pretty awesome reskin and hopefully we can see many more of these to do with other different vanilla weapons within the game. Dwarven robots, mounts and companions. At this current point in time under the video on screen now, you're going to be looking at the 2.0 version released to date. 33.4 megabytes of a download for this particular mod. And for this one, you do get an awful lot to be kicking around with GG77's mods. For this one, you do get the Dwarven Horse Companions, Dog Companions and other different companions as well, but you will need to summon them via that. So you get all the robots and big mechs such as the mounts, you're going to need to get the spell tombs. Now, some of the companions and followers did actually have their own spell tombs free upon talking to them within their infantry. Some of the other ones though to obtain the mechs and the slightly larger robots for me as you can tell within the next clip just after this one it is going to be Ferenga in Dragon's Reach. That is the prime location that I found most of the summon strolls if not tombs from GG77's mods. Not too sure of other vendors that are scattered around Skyrim. Who knows they might have them installed but overall they're going to look really really decent. Obviously for these ones as well there is a 
dismiss one, two if you don't want to have these as the permanent follower, just to get rid of them and switch up. It's entirely up to you on which ones you choose. Epic Enhanced Morthal is going to be coming at 233.5 kilobytes of a download. This is going to be the epic version of Morthal. Last time the mod author made this particular one, I was adding a few different things here and there, but now has made sort of like a fully established compound, to be totally honest. It looks absolutely gorgeous. It makes it bigger. It has a wall around it as two. has those aesthetics such as campfire, towers, uh, to do with certain different areas that you wouldn't expect it from too. Basically added a castle surrounding this particular city, almost similar to what Solitude would have within the vanilla base game. It does look really, really awesome. The model author has kind of inspired it off the city from the shadow of Mordor. If you guys can see the resemblance, let me know down in the comment section below. I personally just like this, just for the aesthetic point of view, as the high walls around this looking absolutely beautiful. It is a ton of exploration within this particular mod. Again, for such an incredibly low download size of only 233.5 kilobytes of a download, I really do hope the mod author does this with other different settlements, as that would be absolutely kick-ass. This is a really great, not only for the visual, but for that download size too. So guys, that's the end of this episode. This has been episode 437 within my series. Guys, if you did enjoy, I'd very much appreciate a like on the video. It does help me out an awful lot. If you're new around here too, make sure to click that subscribe button. Right next to as well, there is going to be a little bell icon. If you click that in some way, shape or form, you will get a notification for every single time I post a video like this to the channel. But until the next one, guys, get a gift here and get a gift out.